Hello and welcome to Fall 2020. This lab will be fully online. I will be here to assist you and uh, please email if you have my information in the syllabus or call me. My name is Dr. Peroso and I have a lot more responsibilities than teaching chemistry labs. I am a lab coordinator for Clarkson Campus and I am assisting helping Newton Campus to set up labs. So I also am a member of the safety community for the university. So I am really, really busy. The that is why I ask you to submit your assignment on time and also importantly with the format that we require. Right? And um, for example, last semester we have a difficulty because someone submitted a report late, I didn't see it, and the grade was like uh, totally out of what the student expected. That take longer time than submitting your assignment on time. If you come sick, if you have any problem, if you have an emergency, just let me know. Shoot me an email and we adjust accordingly. Let us go to the syllabus, which is the, set, the first document that you will see in a college, and um, make sure that you read and understand the syllabus. There is a syllabus quiz, and uh, please take it. And that was not for great, but it is important that uh, that you are informed of the essential days, like where or when, how will be the midterm and the final exam. Here is the example of the syllabus. And I have way a lot of more information here that you will need to see. We talk about this. This is essential. The midterm will be in our college, and you will have to install the lockdown browser. And please take the lockdown browser quiz as soon as possible. Uh, I will take that into consideration too. These are the dates for the that the midterm will be open, and these are the days that the final exam, the period of the final exam, will be open. The final exam will be taken in our college or in our flow. We don't know. Again, the two official platforms that we're going to use this semester will be iCollege and LabFlow. What is different? What you get out of? And iCollege is for communication. I will give record for your grades. I will submit some quizzes and some important information, general information. But LabFlow will provide you with the procedure and quizzes, videos, and finally, you will submit your report right there in Outlook. In my um, syllabus, I have expected outcomes, what you should learn, what you will learn out of it, and pretty much uh, what is the difference between face-to-face -face lab and online lab. In face-to-face, -face, you will have to handle a lot of instrumentation. You walk around the lab with chemicals. You have the real experience, hands-on experience. Of course, you, you will lose your lab bench skills, which is a good thing. In online lab, you all will have good data. There is no error, there is no manipulation error, there was no reading errors. You have good data and you will be able to learn deeper, know uh, theory, more of a specific topic. You will be able to apply formulas in, and have time to calculate and observe how things happen and how things relate to lecture, when you learn lecture, even better. So, it would be a combination of face-to-face -face and online would be even better, but uh, it works. Both models work. That's what I have to tell you. It's not the first time that we're teaching lab online. Great distribution. This is a general. This is not the same for both classes. It is important to notice that the weekly report that you submitted in LabFlow 
as well the final exam is almost 50% of your whole semester. So it's important to know that. The pre lab, the preparation for the lab, that we spend a lot of time talking about preparation, how you prepare for the lab, is essential also. You will need to have a lab notebook. I need that. You need it to have a lab notebook. Here, we cover how to prepare that number, what goes on page one, page two, page three. It's important you follow that. And then how you summarize, page three, how you summarize that particular lab. Get the procedure either from my college, which I have in my college, or from the flow. Read through, summarize according to that. You have to have a title, you have to have the rubric is there, how we're going to grade that. I'm going to grade that particular. Personally, I'm going to grade those. And, uh, and, 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 and those are the part that you would have to do there. At the end, when you submit your report in, in lab flow, come back to the notebook and summarize critical information, important data that you collected and the conclusion that you arrived on to doing the, the lab. That, those are the parts. Let me show you now the procedure, how it looks like. This is for a different class. This is how the procedures look like. With the title, so on, equations, formulas, introduction there, general information or the lab. And step by step what you would do in the lab. And more calculations. It's your results calculation, discussion about that, and the data that you will submit, and that's how it looks like. What? Well, that's how the procedure looks like. It's given to you, and that, that flow will give you that to you. This is a poor summary, poor pre lab preparation for the lab. You can follow instruction at all, go summary, very brief summary, and conclusion show you now a good 100% the information, personal information was here, I delete the part but it was here and the goals, the formulas so I'm not going to give you formulas I'm not going to give you a formula for the final exam of each other, you have to understand it and, and use it procedures, summary it's a summary, it's not copy indirectly, it's a summary with that tells me if you understand the lab or not. And here, calculation, number of calculations and a conclusion. That is a hundred percent of land. Let me show you how the lab flow looks like. Let me see if I have it over here. Remember, not for you will have to enter your email. You will have to use the CRN number of the class. Make sure that it's your class. And you will have to pay $30 directly to Laflow uh, or uh, $40 if you come to campus and um, do it through the bookstore. You have two weeks grace period just in case your financial aid does not kick in. So you have two weeks, don't hesitate to do all the assignment in those two weeks, don't stop, keep going, and pay, uh, you have up to two weeks to pay. This is how the lab flow looks like, you have different modules, and uh, there's all this practice, this is, you give you an idea how the semester is going to be. Lab one, safety, you want to have, watch those videos, and take the quiz. This is the lab number two, but of course you take this math practice, it's the math that you would need to be successful in the semester, take the quiz. And this is how lab number two looks like. Most of the activities that you have to do, and then with the lab report. Always remember that you have to summarize that in your notebook. That's how I'm going to give you weekly. That's how I see it. That's how I know that you're progressing. Please follow the schedule. This module might, show, might close and I don't have the power to reopen it. Mm -hmm. So make sure that we communicate whether you are 
So hopefully not to get in sick or your family member getting sick or you have any emergency, let me know and that way we take decisions of, uh, according to the situation. But uh, make sure to follow the schedule. It is essential. I don't have, if you have any questions, please email me or call me from my office number and um, we communicate that way. I wish you the best, be safe, and good luck.